I'm going to solve an example to find pressure at different points when a pressure value is known at a particular point in a flow field. Okay, so the example reads a flow field for a steady, inviscid, and incompressible fluid, and this time around it's given as water, is u is equal to y squared plus 2y plus 5, and v and w's are zero. Okay, if pa at the origin is 100 kilopascals find PB where X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 0, and PC where X is equal to 0 and Y is equal to 1. Before I solve the question, I want to illustrate these points on an axis. X, Y. So at the origin, I call this PA, and that value is given to me as 100 kilopascals. PB, that's the question mark. This is the PC, where it is 0 is x, y is 1. Okay, so that is the question mark. The first thing I want to do is I want to check whether the conservation of mass is satisfied or not. Okay, for this steady, inviscid, and incompressible flow, I'm going to get myself del u del x plus del v del y plus del w del z is equal to 0. Okay. I always, just as a good measure, check whether the conservation of mass is satisfied or not, okay? So this one is going to be 0 because w is 0, similar logic, v is 0, and this time around, so del del x of y squared plus 2y plus 5, is it really equal to 0? And you can see here that this x, there's no x in this equation, so yes, this will be satisfied and my conservation of mass is satisfied. Next. I want to check whether this flow is irrotational, because as we discussed, if the flow is irrotational or potential flow, I can simply go ahead and use the Bernoulli's equation between PA and PB, PA and PC, or rather any two points in the flow. Okay, so let's establish that. Okay, so for 2D flow, um, actually this is 1D, but uh, for 2D, this is going to be what we have, del u del y is it really equal to del v del x, right? So let's establish that del of del y of y squared plus 2y plus 5 is it really equal to del del x of v, which is 0, right? So you can see here I got myself 2y plus 2, which is not equal to 0. So this is not really satisfied, not irrotational. So I will call this rotational flow, okay? Next, what I want to do is I want to still use the Bernoulli's equation because the Euler's equation seems complicated, right? So I want to just test how the streamlines are, okay? In order to obtain the streamlines, this is a special question where let's pick a particular point over here, right? In this axis that I, x, y axis that I have, right? So where is this point going to go? That's the question that I have, okay? I'm noting that the v is equal to zero, which is the velocity in the y direction, right? So this point is not gonna go up or down in this axis in the y direction. This is not gonna go in or out of the page because w is zero. This point will only move to the right or to the left depending on y, y value, okay? So if I picked several points on this um, same y value, you will see that I'm gonna obtain something like this, okay? depending again on my value value, okay? So if I go ahead and pick different ones, you're gonna see that all my streamlines are gonna be parallel to the x axis, okay? So what this enables me to do is P, rather point A and point B are on the same streamline. So I will be able to go ahead and calculate my pressure at B by using the Bernoulli's equation, okay? So if you don't want to go through this process, that's quite all right, you can use your Euler's equation, the extraction, and the reason for extraction being that when I travel from A to B, I'm traveling in the X direction, okay? But I want to use the Bernoulli's equation. That looks much more simple to me. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. A and B are on the same streamline, okay? So I can simply write PA over rho, plus rho is constant, VA square over 2 plus GZA will be equal to PB over rho plus VB square over 2 
plus gzb. Right off the bat, I want to just get rid of zb terms, okay, because the elevation doesn't change over there, okay? All right, so let's calculate va and vb values. We need to do some work for that, okay? So let's start with the va value. So the va is going to be at 0, comma 0, right? As I know, my u at 0, comma 0 will be obtained by inserting y is equal to 0 into the equation that I gave you in terms of the u. So it's going to be 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 5. So that will be, well, my, the value of 5, right? So if I do v 0, comma 0, and you will see that it is 0, okay? And va, so this is a, this is a, to be more uh, precise. So the va will be, the magnitude of it is going to be 5 squared plus 0 squared. Um, the z direction is also 0 as well. So from here, I will obtain my VA as 5, okay? So let's do the similar approach for VB value. This time around, VB will be X is 1, Y is 0. So UB will be Y is still 0, right? 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 5, that will be 5. And if I go ahead and find my V, uh, B, which is also at 1, 0, it's 0 as well, right? And also WB is also 0, if you want to list that here, okay? Now, <clears throat> same logic. So if I go here, VB is turns out to be, in this particular case, 5 squared plus 0 squared plus 0 squared, if you do 3D, will be equal to 5, right? So you can see VA is equal to VB, okay? So if I go up here, so VA and VB will cancel each other, okay? So then what this means is PA over rho will be equal to PB over rho. And from here, as the rows are the same, I will obtain PA is equal to PB is equal to 100 kilopascals. That is what is given in the question statement to me. Next, I'm going to find PC value because what that's what the question asks me, okay? So let's assess whether PA and PC are on the same streamline. Um, well, that's not quite the case, right? Because the streamlines are horizontal, right? So what I should do is I should go ahead and use the Euler's equation because this flow is not irrotational. I can't use Bernoulli. They are not on the same streamline. I can't use Bernoulli. So that's the only option that I have on the table. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, okay? All right. Let's just go ahead and use my Euler's equation in the y direction. The question is why in the y direction? Because if I want to go from point A to point C, then I will travel in the y direction. For that reason, I must pick the Euler's equation in the y direction. Okay, so you can see this inf information or rather the equation we discussed before. So I'm just going to simply remember this. So I will get del V del y plus W del V del z will be equal to rho g y minus del p del y, okay? Now, let's look at the left-hand side of the, the equation, but remember that v is equal to zero, right? So the whole thing, v is not a function of time, v is not a function of x, v is not a function of y, v is not a function of z, okay? Now, you can even take a shortcut in here, as we discussed in the previous session. This is the acceleration in the y direction, right? If the velocity is equal to a constant value, in this particular case zero, then acceleration is zero, right? So I can simply say a is zero. So the left front half side becomes zero, okay? So then what be, what happens is I have del p del y becomes rho times g. Now the rest of the solution depends on how you want to envision g of y, because in the question I was not very specific in terms of what is the gravity aligned with, okay? So if you want to just go ahead and say that the gravity is not aligned with the y direction, okay, it may be aligned with the x direction, it may be aligned with the z direction, but remember I said zA is equal to zB, right? So you may want to be careful there. They can be on the same elevation, right? Um, if for some reason you get gy is equal to zero, then you can see this del p del y becomes zero, right? And in this case, what does this mean? This means that the pressure is constant. Pressure is constant, right? It's not changing. So I can get my PC is equal to 100 kilopascal as well, okay? The second approach that I will take is I may say that, you know what? The way that it is given to me, 
it seems like the gravity is pointing down in the negative y direction. So let's do this question with the gravity facing down as well. So in this particular case, as I mentioned, then just gy value will be minus 9.81. And I'm going to say that this is 1000. This is the density of water. Okay. So over here, you can get that del P del y is equal to minus 9810. Okay. And in here, if I move the del, del y to the right hand side and take the integral of both sides, you can see that P of it's on a function of y, I'll talk about that in a minute, 9810 times y plus a constant of c. Okay, let's talk about why I called it a c but not f of x. Okay, well, if I look over here, you see that I traveled in the x direction, pa and pb are different x values, right? If I look up here, I travel in the x direction to go from a to b, right? And the pressure did not change, right? So then pressure is not a function of x. And there's, if you, you can try this at home as well, you can try this in the third dimension, which is a W. If you write the Euler's equation in a W, then it will be zero if the gravity is not aligned in that direction. So then what it means is pressure is only a function of Y. That's why, in fact, these becomes dp dy. Okay? All right, fine. So then how am I going to find it is I have a boundary condition. I'm given that at P00, this is 100 kilopascals, right? So then... 100,000 is equal to minus 9,810 times 0 plus C. So from here, you can see that the C is 100,000. Please do not forget to convert the kilopascal to pascals in these equations. I sometimes see these issues. Okay? So I get my constant. So then my P of Y turns out to be minus 9,810 times Y plus 100,000. Right? So in the question, it's asking me PC, which is in fact 0, 1, right? So over here, what I will do is I will plug minus 9810 times 1 plus 100,000. From here, I obtain PC 0, 1 as 90,190, right? Uh, Pascals. And if I convert this, you can see that I get approximately... 90.2 kilopascals as my PC value, okay?